Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian Football Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all sort of opinion banger a new and exclusive video will definitely be notified. So Tyson Fury was given the win over Francis Ngannou. Even Canelo Alvarez is surprised by that decision. Ngano was totally robbed and also Fury should have been disqualified because he threw a right hand with an elbow he threw an elbow in form of a right hand and it was a clean intent to hurt Ngano Ngano took it and kept coming forward this is why boxing is the most corrupt sport and this is why sometimes I want to give up on being a boxing fan because the politics or in boxing it is 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 like is disgusting, bro. Huh? On even Canelo Alvarez is surprised by that decision. A seasoned fighter, a future legend in Alvarez surprised by that. You see what I mean with boxing? He's a boxer. He knows what's going what went on right here. So. Like I said, Franz Ugano may not have gotten the decision against Fury, but no doubt whatsoever, he emerges as the moral victor tonight and he is the winner, the true winner tonight. People are saying robbery. This is why even the last, the, the KSI fight, listen, Ungano has more stand. I think his team will, will, will revisit that fight. They will review that, that fight. And then they will, they will file a case. Fury should have been disqualified. Um, bro, I want to rant more, but I just don't know, man. Boxing is just, it's just, it's just I'm just fucking crazy right now. I'm fucking, uh, I'm, I'm so effing, I don't, I'm mad right now. So, Tajak, uh, wait. Ah, your take, prof. Did Fury deserve to win that fight? No, 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 no. Fury did not deserve to win this fight. Let's be honest, bro. Um, <laughs> I, I, let me put some things into into theories and perspective. Okay, uh, there's it's easy. Fury either didn't get the opportunity to cheat tonight because it doesn't make sense because he usually blacks people's eye. Am I not? Am I not right? He usually blacks people's eyes. You know, so it tells me Fury is a cheater and he's been doing it for a long time. And Ungano said, I'm going to pay attention to that. Maybe Ungano's team did. Maybe they were in preparation and paid attention. They locked up. They did what they have to do to make sure, you know, or Ungano just has a strong ass head and a strong skin, you know, because, man, if you look at the faces of each fighter, you got to tell me who and who did more damage. Fury, Ungano knocked down Tyson Fury. He was keeping up with Tyson Fury. He 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 was he was he was throwing combinations that I was was not expecting from Ungano to throw, and he threw him. Extremely proud of him, him and his uh and, and his trainer. I I I I I have to say I have to say his name. I have to give credit to um, Ungano's trainer because that he he was he's been in there he's been in there with Tyson Fury. I mean with Ungano for a long time. And I'm extremely proud of him that he he was ab he was able eh, able to do that and bring Ungano up to that stage, and being able to knock down knock down supposedly the best heavyweight in the division is impressive. And now I the way I saw that fight, I I actually, that should have been either a draw or that should have been a straight decision to Ungano. But a straight win to Tyson Fury is an absolute joke. And everybody knows it. You know, it's either Tyson Fury is not as good as they say. And he knew he couldn't bully Ungano. Ungano is extremely strong. So I'm going to have to say they need to, they need to do something about that. Right? They need to really start get WBC has really let the foot go. This is what happens when you play favorite. 
in boxing. Now you got to see that Tyson Fury might not be might not as be as good as he says because now you got to really mix it up to find out who's really good and who's not. AJ's been mixing it up. Tyson Fury sure as hell has not been mixing it up. He's been avoiding AJ. He's been he's been avoiding Andrew Ruiz. He's been avoiding almost everybody that he's supposed to. The only fight that he's been had since he came back is Deontay Wilder. So it's it's now telling me there's levels to this. Deontay Wilder is limited when it comes to certain things, and he can only th throw certain certain things. You know, MMA fighters are especially the, the heavyweight division MMA fighters. They've learned to throw combination of punches, and they rely on their punches, especially somebody of Ogano stature. They rely on those punches. You know, and it seems like maybe Ungano's Ungano has a better ring IQ than Deontay Wilder. But for him to do able to be able to do that and just not rely on a heavy one one single handed punch means he's better. And it tells me that um Francis Ungano uh, his 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 um his his IQ is really up there when it comes to certain things. He probably is probably a a faster learner. You know, I'm extremely proud of him. And I would really like to see him back in the ring again. He It'll said he, wa he wants a rematch. I think that is that wouldn't be a good thing because they're going to rob him again. So uh, this time, Fury just have to do more. Like jab, 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 run, jab, jab, run, run, jab. Like, because he knows he cannot believe uh, uh, Francis. So he would jab, run, jab, jab, jab. jab. Bro, I'm tired. Listen, this is what Francis needs to do. Like, take a look at this clip right here. This is... Of course, uh, and this look. is what Ronaldo saw in that last. Whoa, look at what Fury did. He threw a right hand with a elbow, bro. This round. <laughs> Literally, an elbow. This was intentional. Look, Ooh. intentional, bro. This is disqualification. This what? This is the total disqualification for Fury. Oh, and elbow. Elbow. Came in on the You see? Francis took it. Back into he that. was wobbled, but he took it. This is what I'm saying. You, you, you see, the judges never saw this. The referee didn't see this. None of those guys saw this, or they don't want to see it. And then you have the God to give the, the the fight to Fury. This is why I said the Tommy Fury fight was um, Fury against KSI was was a robbery as well. Let's keep it real. I mean, how do you win a fight? Well, you literally were like you didn't. You didn't like dominate the guy. You didn't land more than the other guy. You know the most. The, the uh, 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 gun landed the more, the more, the more si significant punches on Fury. Let's keep it right here, bro. Continue. I'm just angry right now. I'm just looking at things. I even want, boxers yeah. are even ashamed right now. The boxers are like, damn. How did he how the Fury get that way? Yeah, continue, bro. I don't want any excuses from Fury's side. Fury's fans, listen. <laughs> like it or not, your boy lost. Your boy lost. I don't want to hear he probably didn't even train hard. He probably didn't say whatever to this fight. Your boy still lost. It's still a sanctioned Bro, fight. It's okay, lost. okay. Let's say, let's say Fury trained hard. What would he have done different? I don't think so. Francis Ungano was way too strong for that shit. Well, can he can he bully Francis Ungano like like we did water? No, it's not happening. It's not happening. Uh, then continue bro. yeah Francis Ungano was way too strong um I believe Fury knew that when he couldn't do none of that stuff let's look at let's look at the strength and physicality of both Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder I mean Tyson Fury and Ungano Ungano looks like he has enough leg power to continue for days if you look at the legs it seems like legs is just as important in boxing than it is in uh in any sport Because it looks it looks like Tyson Fury wasn't able to actually do what he wanted to do, and physicality wise, I believe Ngannou is extremely strong, man, extremely strong. You know, Tyson Fury knowing that, oh crap, I can't really do that. What I just did with with uh, what I just did to Wilder, I can't do it on Ngannou. I could tell by his face. But honestly, this is good. This is absolutely good for boxing. Now they gotta know I have to mix it up. It's just simple as that, bro. Simple as that. And on top of that, man, I hope that's it. That's it. So, um, if Fury beats Usyk, I I think Fury 
if you're based we'll see. like i think they, they just had a face off right now and well fury didn't look as confident and stuff like that and he looked it, like he looked very down the guy knows they literally lost the same theory tommy fury they know they lost so if they fight i think fury beats will seek will seek at home like it will be a very boring fight you know that already you know it'll be a very boring fight very boring 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 fight i think francis just shot fury up usually it will be cocky and stuff like that like <laughs> He's <laughs> not even doing that, bro. I don't know. Man. It's just crazy. So, um, in your opinion, should Francis take the spot of boxing serious? Or do you think he should just let Honestly, it go like that? Um, I think he should sit and just let the money come to him. Let's see who offers him enough money. But as of right now, I think he has enough people should if he wants to if mma and people want to want him to fight and come back because he has he has he has earned enough fans right now because people are going to be like i gotta watch him fight in mma he has earned enough fans right now for him to say if you want me to come back to mma or if you want ps pfl to to host the fight you're gonna have to pay me you're gonna have to pay me and i believe if if him and john jones was to fight he's gonna be the a side and they're gonna have to pay they're gonna have to give him what he wants. Dana White just shot himself and he lost somebody good. And I'm pretty sure he's sitting somewhere saying, damn, I could have been, I could have literally gave Tyson, I could have literally gave Ngannou what he wanted and actually made the Tyson Fury fight. And then I could back him up saying he beat Tyson Fury and that could have been a bigger fight for John Jones. Dana White shot himself and that's what he gets. Yeah, man. So, Okay, Fury now. What was next for him? In your opinion? What should he can't, he can't deny? He can't deny Usyk. He can't deny AJ. He needs to get in that ring. That's what I'm gonna say. Because at this point, it seems like a more physical guy can really give Tyson Fury an issue. Yeah, well, I don't the want that Joshua is not physical. That's the problem. Joshua does not use his size. That's my. That's my. If Joshua uses, you see what Francis. Okay, I know Joshua is not into MMA or anything like that. But at least use your size. This is what I'm saying. Just right, not use your size. It doesn't use the size. That's why uh, fighters like uh, Ulysses Usyk, uh, you know, Andres Jr. can 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 be him like that. No, you have to use your size. Man, it's really, it's really. I'm really supported right now. In my opinion, I think Gunner is the winner. He's the winner, and I give him the win. The judges, one of the judges, like, how can you score such a uh, like you score such a rubbish you give such a rubbish score when you literally have a knockdown the judges one of the judges Chris I'm just like, I don't get it bro Look, like Canelo Alvarez is even surprised mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly yeah it's just I don't know man I don't know it's just weird yeah, the 96, 93. Like, 96 to Fury. 93 to Francis Gono. Like, come on, man. What were you watching? You for, you, you, do, the knock, what about the knockdown? Ah! I'm just, okay. Now, Dana White. What would you, what do you think? <laughs> they, they, listen. What Dana would they White. be thinking right now? What, 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 would, what would his reaction be? Because literally, he said, "Yeah, he's, everybody was saying, love, love the MMA fans said he he, he, he had run, ruined his career. He's not gonna like do anything." First, gonna have to say this guy is mentally tough, huh? Because a lot of people would have like basically just give up. Yeah, listen, he remember he was the one who said, "Oh, go anywhere else. They're not gonna pay you." Uh, he was just talking a whole lot of rubbish on uh, Francis Ngannou. Just a whole lot of rubbish. He, I think he even commented, oh, he's going to lose that fight against Fury. He's going to look like shit. Man, bro, there's absolutely no way, like literally no way he could deny, like, damn, this guy just puts, he put on a different show. Simple as that. He put on a different show. He's got to take that L. And I really need him to say, in order for us to make this fight, because He's gonna have to pay PFL for for Ungano to come out, bro. He's gonna have to pay them, cause he's gonna have to pay PFL for Ungano to come out. Yeah, man. 
He really, he really lost that one. He could have literally been that guy to really back Ngannou up. All he had to do was pay Ngannou. All he had to do was pay Ngannou. And Ngannou wanted uh, a better health care for the fighters and be a, a better money. And he said no. Well, I'm going to go pay it. Got his he, he got paid ten million uh, ten million dollars, right? And his next time he fights Saudi Bay, it's gonna be much more than that because his stocks are risen. Uh -huh. Like he's basically like he will even get paid more than Fury if they fight again. Like he won the fight, in my opinion, he did. It's just crazy, man. Anyways, I, I I would say that the people who who went to watch it in Saudi Arabia, they enjoyed this. They enjoyed the fight. They don't did in the main event. I think like. The the whole of WWE are there. Undertaker guys. Undertaker is there. Man, I'm proud of this guy, bro. I'm proud of fuck, bro. This guy, man. I am proud of him. Yeah, man. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna continue the discussion tomorrow, man. I'm gonna like you you know you're free tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah, Although, man. Uh yeah, I'm free to as well. I would definitely call you, give you a call. Uh let's we go. We got to talk about this more because I'm gonna go reward this fight right now, and just see, you know, how Fury won this. How, how the judge, how the one of the judge gave Fury ninety six, ah, ninety six score <laughs> when Fury was knocked down. You mean you didn't count the knockdown? Like, what were you watching? Basically, you already wrote everything down. These judges, something that we need to we need to question this judge. This this boxing judges, something they are very corrupt. They are, boxing is a business. We know that, but you cannot just give an an obvious decision. You can't just rob the guy like that. Anyway, Fred, bro. You know he won, bro. That guy know he won. Yeah, man. Thanks for you know coming out, uh, coming through and uh, talk to you tomorrow. Eh? Yeah, see no you, bro. God bless you. Bye, right, man. Right. Cheers. Mm -hmm.